You often hear meteorologists like our own Scott Covert mention heat indexes or feels like temperatures all the time whenever we see the return of hot and humid weather. And summer is basically here. And this week for Science Says, THP 11's meteorologist Krause Ortiz is explaining how the heat index works. The thermometer doesn't always reflect how it may feel outside. The heat index is known as apparent temperature. It's measured by both combining the temperature and the humidity and how it feels like to the human body. High humidity means that the air is saturated with moisture. When the atmosphere becomes too saturated, it'll stop absorbing the water vapor. So when you sweat in humid conditions, it becomes more difficult for the sweat to evaporate. It'll be harder for the body to also regulate its temperature, which is why it will feel hotter. The heat index is measured under shady conditions and light winds, so values will be up to 15 degrees higher when you're exposed to the sun directly. There's an example of a National Weather Service chart used to measure heat index. The different colors correspond to the caution level one should take based off the exposure or strenuous activity. Let's compare a city with temperatures in the 90s that has humidity levels above 50% versus a city in the desert with triple digit heat and humidity below 15%. It'll feel hotter in the city with the temperatures in the 90s versus the one in the hundreds because of the humidity. If the humidity is even low enough, the heat index could be slightly lower than the actual temperature. We'll begin to see these 80 to 90 degree days more often, with July and August being our hottest months here in the Mid-South. Heat is the number one weather-related killer, so make sure to stay cool and hydrated often this summer. With THB 11, I'm Corrales Ortiz. And remember, if you have any type of weather-related misconceptions, folklore, or questions you want Corrales to explain, just send her an email at crts at 11com or reach out to her on social media.